company officials say operations have resumed at Western Sugar Factory in Scotts Bluff following an incident Friday night. KNB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in Western Nebraska and Eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, Western Sugar President Rodney Perry tells KNEB News the factory was back to making sugar this morning after the incident in a compartmentalized portion of the facility that houses a turbine generator. Perry says the malfunction of that piece of equipment led to a small fire that was put out using a fire extinguisher within 20 minutes. The initial call drew a large response from emergency responders, but Perry reiterated that there was not an explosion and that the fire was contained to the area where the piece of equipment that malfunctioned was located. He also said operations are not yet at 100%, pending repairs to some electrical systems. They expect those repairs to be made well before their annual campaign later this year. Scottsbluff rural fire officials say their firefighters, along with those from Scottsbluff Fire, spent about 20 minutes addressing the flames, but remained on scene for about an additional hour. Well, authorities say a Scottsbluff woman is facing charges after leaving the scene of a hit-and-run accident Sunday morning. Officers responded to an injury hit and run accident at the intersection of 11th Avenue and East 10th Streets just before noon. And it was determined that a pickup driven by 43 year old Josefina Gonzalez of Scotch Bluff was westbound when she was struck by a sedan driven by 21 year old Katie Yanaria Castro, also of Scotch Bluff. The pickup rolled onto its side as a result of the collision and the driver had to be extricated by the Scottsdale Fire Department and was taken to Regional West Medical Center by Valley Ambulance. Yanaria Castro fled the scene, but officers were able to locate the vehicle within a few minutes. She was arrested for leaving the scene of an injury accident without rendering aid or identifying themselves. We'll have more news right after this. At Platte Valley Bank, we want to help you take advantage of every adventure. We know you have plans, goals, and dreams. Let us help you with them. Whether it is building, buying, or renovating, we have the home loan or home equity line of credit to fit your needs. Stop in and see us at Platte Valley Bank and let us help make your dreams a reality. You belong here. Platte Valley Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. doing the headset and directors, one of like the main leadership roles, it's my game. That's where I am the best at. When I have the drive through headset, I have the power. <laughs> Welcome back. The Gehring mayoral race is one of the many contested races to appear on the May primary ballot. And last Thursday, the three candidates took part in a forum sponsored by the Scottsbluff Gehring Chamber of Commerce. When asked about what should be done for the mayor's role, Eldon Hubbard said he sees it as a cooperative effort with the city council. To um, set the, set the, the, um, the goals, the plan um, for the city, and um, it should be um, a, a guiding force for the, to assist the council to move forward. Ben Backus said he would like to see that role somewhat diminished as it was in the past. I'd like to work with council and try and influence them when I feel that uh, they're making a decision I don't agree or agree with. Um, so over the last couple of years, it's kind of been more of the administrator and the mayor setting the tone for council. Kent Ewing said the mayor should be deeply involved and in bringing forward information on all sides of the issues. They get information now a lot quicker due to electronics and all the computers and everything, everybody's kind of up to speed. But they need to know both sides of it. 
And I believe if I get elected, I would like to be able to be on that point of telling and explaining things on both sides of the coin. Other topics discussed by the candidates included how to grow local businesses and the community, their stance on the proposed horse racing and casino project, and what they see as the biggest need currently in the city. You can watch the forum on the YouTube channels for both Chamber and KNEB.TV. Tomorrow, we'll feature the candidates vying for a seat on the Scotts Bluff City Council. Well, coming over from the break, Bill Boyer's in with your full week weather forecast. You'll have that right after this on KNEB.TV News. There are times in life when you just have to say, this is a no-brainer and we are doing it. And right now is one of those times. Renewal by Anderson makes the best windows you can get. They have more five-star customer reviews than anyone in the industry. And right now you can get Renewal by Anderson windows with no money down, no interest, no payments for a full year with approved credit. A full year. Book your free estimate right now at rbawyoming.com. Renewal by Anderson. This is one of those times in life. It's a no-brainer. We're doing it. The Verizon family is full of frowns because they're spending too much for their unlimited data and phones, while the Viero family is all smiles because they're getting four lines of unlimited data with two free Apple iPhone SE for mom and dad and two free LG K31 smartphones for the kids, all for just $100 a month. They're saving so much, they're able to get Fido. Find out how you can too at Viero.com or your nearest Viero store. Viero Wireless, keeping you connected. This is KNEB.TV weather from the KNEB Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Well, as we look across the area here this evening, we're going to see quite a few clouds early. Then a breezy period here this evening before skies turn clear, and then it just turns downright windy. Stop me if you've heard this before. We've got a windy week ahead of us. Uh, Precip's going to mainly be to our north, unfortunately, and it is going to be cold most of the week maybe slightly warmer for the weekend. Yesterday we hit 51 after a morning low of 24 degrees. Precip wise, uh, we did have 15 hundredths of an inch of moisture yesterday in the rain gauge, early yesterday morning. We've got 19 hundredths now for the month, still about a little over a third of an inch short of where we should be for the month and the year. 60s off to our east uh, and 40s off to our west. We're sandwiched here in the middle with some 50s and low 60s. 46, though, in Lusk right now, 63 in Ogallala and in Valentine. And as we look at uh, as we look at winds right now, not terrible, still pretty gusty, though, especially off to our south and east. Winds 20, 30 miles an hour there, gusting over 35 at times. Most of the rest of the region in that 15 to 20 mile. Well, as we look at what we have going on, this is the, the concern that we have. We still have some red flag warnings that are in effect off in uh, central portions of Nebraska, and that is what is uh, causing a lot of the issues here is these red flag warnings continue for a large portion of the area and high wind watches and warnings out. Those areas are going to continue to experience some of the uh, severe uh, winds and extreme fire danger that we're considering. And we told you this storm was possible, and we were keeping a very close eye on it. Well, it's going to go just off to our north. Look at this. This is blizzard warnings in portions of the Dakotas and eastern portions of Montana. So we're certainly very fortunate that we missed out on that. As we look at our bus stop forecast tomorrow, we're going to see mostly sunny skies, temperatures in the upper 30s, and on the way home will maybe be only in the mid-40s. It's going to be colder tomorrow, and it's going to be downright windy as well. As we take a look at Futurecast, any shower activity tonight uh, is going to be light and very isolated at best. That's not the case off to our northwest. You'll see that persistent band of snow in the high country and uh, into portions of the Dakotas. Lows overnight, 30s in the west, 40s to near 50 in the east. Now tomorrow, again, that persistent flow of uh, snowfall and snow shower activity off to our north. And uh, that's what's going to keep the winds in our area for the next several days. We'll have areas of sun at times, clouds at others, and a, a sprinkle or a flurry, but that's about it. Otherwise, we're just going to be downright windy and colder here across the region. 36 tomorrow for a Lusk, <laughs> high in Lusk, but look at Valentine at 68. That's not a ton of difference in, in distance and over 30 degrees difference in high temperatures for tomorrow. Most of us in the 40s and 50s. As far as precip goes, it's going to be very light uh, here in the local area and confined off to our west 
And uh, some decent snow is going to fall from this in the mountains, which they certainly can use it. Let's take a look at future cast or forecast for tonight. 38, cloudy early, clearing late, and it's going to be breezy at times. Downright windy tomorrow, winds 25, 35, gusts over 50. We don't see those 70 to 80 mile an hour wind gusts coming, but another miserable day tomorrow with the winds and highs only in the upper 40s. And notice a pattern here. We've got breezy and windy conditions lighting up almost every day of the next seven days, uh, except maybe Good Friday. Uh, in temps colder, look at that Wednesday, only in the upper 30s, mid 40s for Thursday. Then closer to 60 for Friday and in the low 60s Saturday. Easter Sunday right now back into the up, mid and upper 50s with windy conditions hanging into early next week. This is John. He's not an actor or a director. Can you tell? He calls himself a steward of the land. And by the looks of the way he nurtures his little corner of the earth, it's safe to say he's the real deal. John runs with us on a John Deere 3 Series tractor because you can never underestimate the value of a little tractor time. Nothing runs like a deer. Visit 21st Century Equipment in Alliance, Torrington, Scottsbluff, and Bridgeport, or visit 21stCenturyEquipment.com. Are you looking for the perfect place to hold a wedding, family reunion, holiday office party, or business meeting? Well, look no further. The Hampton Inn and Suites Hotel and Conference Center is just the place for you. We're a full-service banquet facility that can host up to 400 of your guests. Stop in and see our spacious open concept meeting rooms and begin planning your special event or family gathering today. Let us do the work for you so you can enjoy your guests. For personal service, stop by the Hampton Inn and Suites front desk. Now, sports from the FNBO Sports Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. The hole was calling for some this past Saturday night. Sure glad to have you on board for the Monday update here on KNEB.TV News from the Sports Desk. Over the weekend, the Twin Cities Legion baseball program held their annual fundraising banquet, and as part of the evening, they honored their first ever Hall of Fame induction class. The three-man class, of course, was headlined by former longtime head coach Mark Moran. Well, I was kind of surprised when Dallas talked to me about it. But, uh, great honor. I'm humbled to be uh, honored in this first group, so it's a great, great night for me. In 27 seasons, as head coach Moran piled up nearly 900 wins and took the Zephyrs to the state tournament 10 times. He also had the pleasure of coaching a bunch of great players, two of which were honored on Saturday alongside Doug Mitchell and Bo Bowman. Mitchell was a two-way player who helped lead the Z's to one of the great wins in program history over Rapid City in 1993, a year in which Rapid won the American Legion World Series. He, he played it for me my first three years and was arguably our best, best player all three years and was a tremendous pitcher, great hitter. I was really happy for him. He went on to Carney and put up huge numbers there and, and he's a very good friend of mine too. So happy for Doug. And the third member of the inaugural class, that was Bo Bowman, who's the all-time leader in Zephyr's history with a 466 batting average. Had a great college career as well. Bowman then played three years in the Rockies organization, finishing his pro career with a batting average over 300. And Bo, Bo's the best hitter we've ever had. Uh, goes to the best junior college league in the country, tears it up there. Goes down there to Louisiana Monroe, tears it up there. Gets drafted by the Rockies, plays three years in their organization, and had a, had a great career there, and uh, I'm, I'm really happy for Bo, too. Moran added that he just doesn't see those two that often, and that was what really made the night special for him. There's WNCC baseball today. They're on the road at Colby Community College in Kansas. The Cougars won their weekend series at McCook, taking the rubber game yesterday in a wild affair, 19-15. They'll be home this upcoming weekend to play in J.C. And Cougar softball, they had a 2-0 Sunday as well, winning a pair on the road at North Platte. 
They look to continue those type winning ways at Volunteer Field coming up this weekend. They also welcome in NJC this weekend. That'll do it for today. The latest from right here at the FNBO TV Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell. A community is connections, friends, family, schools, teams. At Allo, we're honored to be a part of your community. As members of the community, we're committed to ensuring people stay connected to the services they need. That's why we're participating in the FCC's Affordable Connectivity Program. We're providing discounts on any internet service option with Allo to qualifying households. Go to allofiber.com forward slash ACP to learn more. Let's take a look what's happening on today's community calendar. The Community Calendar is brought to you by Riverstone Bank. First State Bank is now Riverstone Bank. Community strong with the same people you know and trust. What a year 2020 was. Now's the time to get out and travel this summer to see family and friends you were not able to see this last year. Spend more time enjoying your trip by flying United Airlines, operated by SkyWest with daily flights to and from Denver. Reserve your flight today and remember United Miles can be earned and redeemed with your flights. While at the airport, stop and enjoy authentic Italian food at Roma Italian Restaurant. And don't forget, Thrifty Car Rental is here for your car rental needs. Make life easier, relax, and hitch a ride with your BFF, Western Nebraska Regional Airport. At Platte Valley Bank, we want to help you take advantage of every adventure. We know you have plans, goals, and dreams. Let us help you with them. Whether you are just starting the business you have always imagined or looking to grow your existing one, we have a business loan to fit your needs. Stop in and see us at Platte Valley Bank and let us help make your dreams a reality. You belong here. Platte Valley Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. And finally tonight, more than a dozen members of the Lincoln Elementary Student Council stopped by the Panhandle Humane Society last week to give them a donation of nearly $1,000 from a special fundraiser called Give Change for Greater Change. 
The money was raised each day of the third quarter campaign with kids reading facts about cats and dogs and other days where students who brought in donations got to take part in a special activity or receive special treats. PHS director Amy Bartholomew thanked the kids for the donation and explained to them how the money will be likely used. We're in the process of trying to get another, get a cleaned room for our dogs. It'll be in dog adoptions. We're going to take a room that we can't use anymore and have it renovated, put some windows in and some benches, kind of like Haley's room down the hall. And so it's going to be called the Wyobraska room. It was the children who decided on where the money raised would be donated. And teachers say in addition to raising money for a good cause, the effort also teach the Gehring students how to be civic-minded and involved in their communities. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. We'll see you here next time.